Hey guys, um, this is a dining table top I made. It's a replacement for the original top from a IKEA dining room table that I, I had for years. Um, one sheet of uh, red oak vineyard plywood from it was Roseburg sky ply, and uh, pretty happy with how it came out. But hope you learned something. Hope you enjoy it. Here I'm using a, a spiral down cut bit so that I'm not lifting up the delicate veneers of the plywood. I'm just using a trammel point jig that I made. I'll show that in a second. But um, by using a, a down cut bit, it makes a cleaner cut and then switch to an up cut bit to remove more waste. So there's not as much dust in the cut. Low friction surface by the shrink banding. Uh, I'll show you the jig. So, oh yeah, screw that to your center point. This is just my edge guide. Ran through screw, two screws through it. Does it get any simpler than that? Maybe, but not really. This is a, this is uh, Miracore plywood, um, red oak, and I cut these veneers off another piece of the same sheet. Then I double cut the seams, it's overlaid kind of like you do with laminate, and uh, taped it on, shrink banding, and then. Put this ratchet strap around it. The nylon ratchet straps likes to slip along the. Yeah. Had to do it. After the first coat of stain. Boom. There it is. Stain is on, taking off the excess, and let it sit. Yeah, how's that for a seam? Yeah, here's my table. It's an IKEA table base. It's all plastic. Blatant knockoff of the Eurocerian version from the 60s. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it.